We mentioned earlier one person died in the collapse, and sources tell CBS2 the garage manager is still unaccounted for. CBS2's Alice Gaynor went to his neighborhood in Laurelton, Queens, to learn more about him. Oh, no. This is like, I'm like dumbstruck right now. Kurt Jacobs is thinking about his longtime neighbor, Willis Moore. They were just chatting the other day about Moore's lawn. The first thing that went through my mind when I heard the garage uh, collapse in lower Manhattan, I thought of him. I said, I pray that's not his garage. Sources say Moore, the garage manager, is unaccounted for. Such a hard worker. Six days a week he works. I just can't. I just can't imagine him. My mom had called and received no answer from him as well, and he would normally pick up regularly. Next door neighbor Jaden Hurst says his mother is close with Moore. From what I know, he liked to fish a lot. He would like anytime he would go, he'd always bring back something from my mom as well. When I was younger, he would give us like tickets to Six Flags every now and then. Neighbors note they have not seen his car in more than a day. Garage customers are also in disbelief. They always joke around and stuff like that, man. Come on, you know, uh, move your car. Uh, I'll tow it and take it upstairs. You know, like all the jokes and stuff. Super, super friendly. Always nice. So educated. A family man. You know, having conversations with him, he was the nicest. I've known him now for 11 years. I, like, that's the tragedy in this to me. In Laurelton, Queens, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.